Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Let's Play. So this guy, this uh, wandering trader is still wandering around. He's made himself invisible, but I found out something. This guy offers an elytra for three emeralds. So I need to keep this guy around, make sure that he doesn't go anywhere. Unfortunately, I can't see him, but he does appear to be persistent, especially through uh, logins and outs. So as long as we don't accidentally throw him off an edge <laughs> into the void, we're good to go with that. So in the last episode, we ended with on a pedestal. So I need to, I believe, clear out my inventory just a little bit. So I can make room for all the pedestal stuff that we are about to do. Uh, I can put some of that away. I can probably put these guys away for now. I don't need lava at the moment. Uh, we'll drop our lava off in there. I do need those. I do need gold. I can put probably these shears away. I should have done all of this before I logged in. Or at least before I started recording. There's no way I could have done it before I logged in. Anyway, I uh, probably don't need shafts at the moment. So I think we are good. I know I just put all of that in the wrong chest. We're about to get to... Um, functional storage drawers so we're we're all good so i can go ahead and claim all of these rewards from last episode so the next thing that we need to do is actually set up a pedestal area which i'm gonna do back here so i need to start with i need a block of stone because i can just pop a stone block down like so you take your pedestal place it on top of the stone put the material generator in your offhand and click and what that's going to do is it's going to start generating cobblestone that's it that's all we have to do people and then guess what we can do the same thing with dirt so i'm going to make another pedestal really quickly I'm going to drop this here, create a second pedestal, which I think I could have gotten as a reward. Do I have a second pedestal somewhere? I should have already gotten one as a reward. He's still, still walking around. Um, somewhere in... Oh, well, good to know that you can put them underwater. That could come in handy. Uh, somewhere along this line, I should have gotten a pedestal as a reward, potentially. Yeah, right here. Which also gives me another piece of stone. So now that I've got three pedestals, the next thing is going to be making dirt. So I can take this. Organic compost which is going to be the straw, which we got earlier, tree bark, which I learned needs to come from a cutting board. If I can type, cutting board, which is just some planks and sticks. Where is all of my wood? Is there, sticks are there. I think I need to go cut some trees really quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab three. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of slowly upgrading all of my tools to iron for now, even though I'm not super uh, good on iron at the moment. I decided it's, it's better to just go ahead and have it in my inventory and use what I have sparingly. All right, so there's... A whole bunch of wood getting a little bit of block lag I just logged in so it's gonna take the game a little bit to warm up but then I can just go ahead and replant I wish there was a way to just like mass plant trees I'm sure there is in one of the mods 
but for right now we're just gonna do it that way. So I can put away a lot of the junk. That whole stack can go away, and then I'm going to go and do this. I'm not gonna do a lot right now, uh, but I also do need, so I need those to make the cutting board. And then once I put the cutting board down, I can take, I think just regular logs and I can put it on there and then do that. And that gets me tree bark, which I need four of. So that was one. Wonder if I can do this. Yes, I can. So four, and then I needed some bone meal. I can see you. So I need some bone meal, and I needed that straw that I got a few uh, episodes ago. I can take you out of my offhand so I don't keep doing that. Organic compost, I just need one actual block of dirt, which is not hard to get. Organic compost, shaboom, shaboom, shaboom. I need to put some stuff away. I got a flux hoe, some mycelium stuff. All right, we are about to start making some storage drawers because this is getting ridiculous. All right, so I have one block, I mean one bucket of lava. Where's my second bucket? It's in my inventory, so if I do this, I can make another... Nope, that's not what I wanted. I can make another upgrade base. Then I can take that upgrade base and I can make a materials generator. And then I can come over here, break this. And guess what guys? With that, we no longer have to punch dirt. Or, yeah, we don't have to punch dirt to get cobble or dirt itself. Fantastic. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. All right, so the next thing to do is make uh, nether bricks, which I can do. There's a thing called demon seeds or something like that. Uh, demon dream seeds. Do I have any of those at the moment? I don't think I do. I don't even really know how to get them. I think by just breaking or, well, I, no, not by sifting. I think the last time when I was playing this, I got it by breaking some of the stuff in here. Like the, just the delightful dirt and the tall grass. I think might eventually give me some of the demon seeds that I need. So we've just got to wait kind of for all of this grass to regrow. Because what I need to do is take soul sand, which I can get from burning regular sand in the occultism fire. That gives me uh, the stuff I need. So I just need to probably, I could probably bone, can I bone meal this? I can not. I wonder if it takes a special kind of bone meal because it's a special kind of dirt and grass. All right, so I need to wait until I get um, the demon seeds. But until then, I can at least make some more lava. Do I have, okay, so here's the plan. I can take this and I can relay that across uh, a distance 
So I'm going to make a few millstones because that's, I think, my next uh, create anyway. Uh, I got sage seeds. That's not what I need. I need the occultism seeds. Um, so we could, like I said, start getting into drawers, which is going to be good for storing the dirt that I'm getting and the cobblestone. So functional storage and it's raining, of course. Functional storage. So the drawers are easy to make. Those don't take a lot. It literally just takes a chest. I can get rid of you. Compact drawers are something I'm going to need. And a controller are going to be like the three big things that I need. So a controller needs quartz, which is why I need soul sand. Because if you sift soul sand in uh, the andesite mesh, it gets you an 80% chance of nether quartz. So that's why we need to progress towards soul sand, which is also why I want to progress towards the nether. Because I haven't gotten any quartz out of anything. But, I, like I said, I think the next thing I'm going to do really quickly is go into create. And I'm going to make a millstone. So that needs andesite casings, cogwheels, and any kind of stone. So, where am I at as far as andesite casings? That's going to be... Stripped logs, which luckily, stripped logs, I can do just like that. How am I for actual, like, andesite alloy? I have two, but I can definitely make more. Can I sleep yet? No. I'm going to turn the weather sounds down. them at about 10 percent ah that's much better all right so do i have any andesite at the moment if i don't i at least have andesite chunks that i can make into andesite and if i i've learned this as well if i take the andesite and i put it under a pedestal uh, it has to be polished andesite, but if I put polished andesite under a pedestal, it gets me unlimited regular andesite. So that's going to be another big step. And I get andesite chunks from sifting dirt. So now that I've got unlimited dirt, I'm not going to fret about... sifting it you are walking a thin line buddy I need to get gravel so I can trade with you before you disappear or die <laughs> so I can take this whole stack of dirt I can put some garbage away I'm going to take this dirt. I'm just going to divide it into fourths. So I can do 10, 10, 10, and 10. So hopefully that'll get me a few more andesite chunks while I'm doing that. I do also need to sift some gravel. To Okay, so let, let me go ahead and make my millstone since that's where we're at right now. I'm getting ahead of myself. So a millstone. Fantastic. Can I put it here? All right, that's good. So now let me get a stack of cobblestone. And then we are just going to throw that into the millstone. And that's going to grind that up. And eventually, once I get enough pedestals and everything I can start um, transporting stuff so 
So that gets me a big cogwheel, which means I can speed up this process because I can come around here. Do I have any cobblestone in my inventory? I do not. Luckily, I know a place where we can get a lot of it. It is slow. There are speed upgrades, and I think I got some as a quest reward, or I will get some as a quest reward. So I'm going to expand this out just a little bit to give me room to place a larger cogwheel down. Because bigger cogwheels, I can speed up And those go a little bit faster. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So now I can put away some more garbage. That's not what I meant to do. I wanted less garbage. You gave me more. All right. So I do have one more pedestal. I just need enough blaze powder to make one more bucket of lava. So then I can make one more material generator, and I just saw that I do have a bunch of stuff from all of my sand. So hopefully there's enough andesite chunks in here to make at least four, that then I can get that. So very cool. Uh, once this is done, I can start throwing gravel in here to do... Uh, blaze powder. So what's something that we can do in the meantime? I don't need... I'll take that. It's one of those things of like, I, I it annoys me to have unturned in quests. But it annoys me even more to have a massively full inventory. Alright, so this is the export upgrade. So this is what I can use to put um, resources into chests. So I could take that and then I can pop an export upgrade onto a um, I can put an export upgrade onto a pedestal, link the pedestals together, put that on top of a storage container and then um, it'll insert into that storage container. So let me, I know I have an chest somewhere. And I do have some more wood that I can make. All right, so let, let me actually do this as well because I know that iron upgrade is one of the uh, things that I need to do. So if I put you on top, you're not a full block and I can still open that. Okay, so let me do chest upgrades. Iron upgrade is just a plank with iron surrounding it. How much iron am I sitting on right now? I have four. That's not enough. I have six. That's not enough. Where are my iron ingots? I do have some, or uh, nuggets. I do have some nuggets, but that's not going to get me enough either. I have five, six, seven pieces of iron. We're getting there. Uh, once I sift up all of this gravel, uh, we'll, we'll get where we need to go on that. So let me go ahead and grab some of this gravel, and I'll throw it in here. And we'll wait until we get some and then I need so there's more of this over here I, I'm 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 kind of lost in what I want to do right now I'm not gonna lie I'm also oh I think I just got demon seeds or the potential to get demon seeds yes Aha, occultism, demon, seeds. So demon dream seeds. So I need to grow those. So where is my bone meal? Let me grab 
grab some bone meal. All right, so while we're waiting on that gravel to sift up, I'm gonna go ahead and do this really quick. All right, so I can get that. That gets me the demon dream fruit. That unlocks occultism, which is a magic mod. And I know that I said I wasn't gonna go super deep into magic mods and I'm still not. But for now, this is what I need. So I need to throw this down and then light it on fire, but I don't want to put it in a place that's going to be like in the way or burn things. I also need a piece of flint. Where's my hammer? There's my hammer. So I'm just going to do stone to gravel and then I'm just gonna break this gravel with my hands until I get a piece of flint it's like in UHC's there we go okay so I need a flint and steel so I need an iron Boom, flint and steel. I'm gonna come back here. I'm just gonna drop you there. And luckily this fire stays going. So now I just need some sand. Do I have sand? I do. So I'm just gonna take this sand, throw it on the fire, and that's gonna get me soul sand. Perfect. Cool, we are a few steps ahead of the game. So that's gonna get me some more soul sand. So I can take the soul sand. Can I make soul soil with it? How does one get soul soil? Because I know that that's another thing I need at some point. Or soul soil might just be something that you get elsewhere. So I'm not gonna do all of this. I'm just gonna do half a stack. Well, a quarter of a stack from my half a stack. Because I don't know if I'm going to need this for anything else later. Alright, that's enough iron. I never set this up. So, extract upgrade. Which is also technically an insert upgrade. So then all you have to do is shift click. Click. Shift click. Click. And that's eventually just going to move dirt and cobble into this chest so while that's going we can do some other things and eventually it's just going to back stuff and fill up this chest fill up this with one of these two and then fill up this with one of the two so perfect on that note um i need to clean out this inventory a bit more so i can see if i can get some quartz in my inventory which i can perfect Quest complete, nether quartz, awesome, which means now I can actually just switch this out for functional storage drawers. We are moving right along, people. This is, this is gonna get relatively easier. So I do need a couple of chests that I can turn into um, drawers. So I can take chests, turn chests into drawers, that unlocks the basics and I get upgrades and tools and then uh, that's fine. So I do also need compacting drawers and a storage controller, which I'm gonna go ahead and make that first storage controller. So I just need stone, any stone will do. Uh, I have my things I just need blocks of quartz so two blocks of quartz I can get rid of a stone button for now I need more storage which is what I'm working on uh, redstone I can bring out because I need I believe it's three redstone torches for a comparator Storage controller, fantastic. 
I don't know where I'm going to do storage. I can probably just extend off of this a little bit. Or maybe along like right here. So let me go ahead and grab some of this cobblestone. And I'm just gonna fill in a little bit of an area right here. So my storage controller can go, it can actually go right here, but I'm gonna, I need a way to move you without dropping all of my stuff into the void. So I'm not going to worry about that part right now. I'm just going to put you here. And then I can get some actual drawers, just some actual storage drawers. We're going to make like four of them. And that's going to be... Um, Well, it's going to be like dirt, cobble, sand, andesite, dust. So I do need like one more. Because I am going to want one for dust as well eventually. Alright, so that... And then I can link everything because I was given a configuration tool. Was I given a linking tool? Because somehow in the last one I ended up with two. All right, there we go. All right, so some upgrades, a linking tool so I can link all of these. And then I can go ahead and lock them. I am also going to need a drawer for wood, so I'm going to put... A drawer for wood right there link you so we'll go wood stone I don't have any dirt currently in my inventory but we will go and grab some dirt can go oh yeah it stopped raining dirt can go here and then like I said eventually sand gravel which I should have some gravel ready here. I need to fill in that spot. So I don't fall. All right, and then we can also lock. Locking mode, lock everything to what it is. I think I can also just do this and that locks everything that's linked to it, perfect. Um, what's next? Next is going to be actually moving that and putting it on the back of the storage drawer over there. On the controller. But I put away my pickaxe, my gadoofus. And I don't know where I put it because I just dumped everything into other chests. I never actually put it down. All right, so I can unlink you. There are range limits on this, so I need to make sure I don't exceed that. And I don't know how I'm gonna get around to the back side of this now. Can I get around this way? Perfect. Uh, tool in the offhand. Linking tool visualizer range I think that's still within range so receiver linked successful and then I can come up here receiver linked successful so now that's just gonna keep filling up all of this with dirt and cobblestone Yes, perfect. That is exactly what I needed. Now I just need a little bit more blaze powder so I can get one more, um, so I can get one more 
bucket of lava, which will then get me another upgrade thing, and then I can start doing polished andesite into andesite and start getting unlimited andesite, which will solve a lot of my problems. So I had a stack of gravel, or a bit of a stack of gravel, so I'm going to just divide that. Uh, no wait, gravel needs to then go into sand, which then needs to go into dust. So we're not 100% there yet. I can get unlimited gravel though, so I'm not going to put all of this in here. And that's always going to be an issue. I need to like hopper it in there. So I'm not throwing resources away. I was given like a wooden hopper. A few wooden hoppers. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, I don't want to put a drawer up there because if I put a drawer up there, I just I'm only limited to one item. Uh, barrel? We can do a barrel. So barrel. That goes quickly. Um, that will mill into sand. Sand will then turn into dust. Dust will then turn into blaze powder. Perfect. All right, I can't really think of anything else we need to do this episode. I'm gonna try and like get more done in each episode. I don't know where we're really at right now on the whole uh, back and forth thing, but I do know that we're at the about 30-ish minute mark. So uh, we got a little bit done today. We got our demon seeds. We started getting cobblestone and dirt generated. We've got soul sand now that we can pretty much automate. So next episode is going to be dedicated fully to automation, getting all of this taken care of, probably getting this sped up a little bit, because that's, that's taken a while. And then we'll work on automation of just immediately dumping unlimited, unlimited resources into the sifters, the millstone, and all of that kind of stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Later.